What is going on today guys? Tomcat here and today I have a huge surprise for you guys on the other side of that door. Not the FRS. Not the FRS. But this. This is the new off-roader project. This is my 1973 Jeep CJ5. It's a Kaiser Jeep and it is, uh, it's got a V8 304 and I'll go ahead and give you guys a little bit of a tour of it and uh, hope you guys enjoy because I'm really excited about this thing. Oh, by the way. <laughs> plugs and plugs and wires are new. Uh, the only thing is the carburetor e either needs to be rebuilt or replaced. I'm probably going to go ahead and replace it. I'm not quite sure yet. The um, Thinking about hooking a couple of things back up because there's some vacuum lines that are slightly missing. Um, and one of these wires to the starter solenoid is, um, well, it's kind of broken. So <laughs> whenever we go to start it, generally I have to have somebody hold this here while I actually go in and crank the Jeep. But, um, I mean, it's just, you know, little stuff. Little stuff like that. Um, it has a little bit of rust, as you guys can see, but it is a manual. It is a three-speed. Let's actually go ahead and we can get in. The, and yes, I know I have shorts on, I just got back from the gym, but mechanical clutch, and this, this transmission is actually very short shifting, so first is right here, third is, uh, sorry. First is right here, second is right here, and third is here, and then that's your top gear, that's your final gear. Reverse is here, and that's pretty much, I mean, you put it in neutral, that's pretty much what. That's pretty much all you get. And then, of course, you got your um, four-wheel drive stick goes to your transfer case over here. The lights, actually, it's awesome because the lights actually work, and I'll go ahead and show you that right now. If I pull that out, as you can see, the headlights actually work. All of them work. And what's really cool is the taillights work as well. The reverse lights don't work, but that's okay. I mean, I'm not really too concerned about that. This cage, it, or half cage, is going to have to go. It's not that stable, and it's not sturdy, and it's not something we're going to be using over time. Um, especially, it's not going to protect you in an off-road rollover, that's for sure, if, if that were to happen. But, check this out. Well, actually, that didn't do anything. So, you know what? We <laughs> Forget that. <laughs> now, these tires are... I believe 31s. Um, basically, they're, I I've never actually heard of the company that makes them. They're like, oh god, what are they? Um, they're Centennial uh, High Traction, like, mud terrains or something. I've never heard of them, but they are brand new. I mean, you can see the little green line is still on the tire. They these tires are literally brand new. They were brand new when I picked up the Jeep. And, I mean, side pipes <laughs> slightly you know slightly somewhat rigged together side pipes but still side pipes I mean it thing sounds amazing and this thing I have actually I have a bunch of new parts for it inside I have new seats I have two new tops and I'm gonna actually use this sheet metal back here to go ahead and fix uh, the floor pans they're full replacement uh, floor pans, which I mean to be honest this thing really does need it considering the condition that those floor pans are in um, The one on the passenger side is a little bit worse, but honestly, I mean It's definitely not terrible uh, Especially considering some other CJ5 projects. I've seen I mean some of the CJ5 projects you see are definitely Not brilliant as far as that goes But there she is, and honestly, I don't really have, I don't really have a name for her just yet. I mean, I know a lot of people name their Jeeps, and I will be naming my Jeep, but like I said, I don't exactly know what I want to name my Jeep yet. I really don't have like an exact idea of what I want to name it, but I'll show you guys, I'll show you guys more around it very soon. It's really cold right now, but, uh, but once I get the, uh, once I get the carburetor worked out and once I fix, oh, I'll show you guys this, this is hilarious. 
So you see the fuel filler neck right, well, you can kind of see it, it's right here. But basically, someone replaced it with a piece of heater hose, and the heater hose leaks. And since the Jeep tips back, it's, it's like tips up, and the back sits down like that when you accelerate, gas tends to spill and then leak out of the leaky heater hose, which they used to replace the filler neck. So it's a little bit iffy, and I've already run it out of gas once <laughs> due to the fact that it has that leak. But once we sort out the fuel leak and we sort out the carburetor, this thing is going to be an off-road machine. Now, I do have some plans for it in the future. We're going to be doing um, probably a two and a half to three inch lift, 33s, and we're probably going to do, um, we're probably going to replace these fenders with some, uh, some flat fenders, and we're going to be doing um, body armor, rock sliders, and this thing is going to be an off-road beast because that beast over there, that's, I mean, as high as it is and as big as the tires are, it's, it's, it's more of a hauling rig, and this is the off-road rig. And then this is the track toy. So we've got, you know, we're starting to get a little bit more well-rounded with our, uh, with our, with these different rigs, but I'm very excited for the plans for that Jeep. And let me know in the comments section below, name suggestions. I want to hear your name suggestions for this thing, but if you guys enjoyed this video and the announcement of my Jeep, then don't forget to click that like button. Tell me in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more, and I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later, and I hope you guys enjoyed.